Hi everybody! This week is an update. We get to see how Layla is doing in her empty cage. Uh, she has actually been doing very well. And she is obviously super sweet, energetic. She's gotten completely used to it by now. And... You can see, she actually isn't doing too bad on skittishness at all. Which is really good, because normally when you separate them, um, they can be a little bit more skittish. Which is why I, I like to kind of work with them a little extra when they go through the separation of their siblings. Uh, especially when they go from having say five, down to none. <laughs> so, they kind of get a little, little skittish for a time being and then they should grow out of that part of being skittish. Uh, and then they should just eventually tame down. Some uh, are just naturally skittish and they grow out of it. So I've had people ask, you know, that their hamster is like two months old and they're still super skittish. Uh, that's right around the time that they should begin to start growing out of being skittish when you go near them. So any time before that, you know, it's it's natural for a hamster to be kind of kind of skittish, but then calm down after socializing with you for a little bit, and then would probably go back to being skittish again when you try to pick them up. That's just kind of natural for them. And yeah. Next week we are going to be going into what your hamster looks like in uh, kidney failure. Because, well, we'll give the details on that when that comes. But let's just say we figured out a link between higher proteins in older hamsters and uh, obviously lower protein for younger hamsters and the link between problems there. So uh, with that being said, uh, that's going to be the end of this video and we'll see you next week for some interesting tips. <laughs> Toodles everybody.